Ready. All right. You guys are good. You're all on. right. Good morning, everyone. Uh, we are blessed uh, to have another one of our guys that have been following us for a while stop by the property here. Uh, you drove a few hours north to get here. Um, so, if sir, if you would introduce yourself and tell the folks who you are. Wayne Meyer from near Charles City, Iowa, a little town of Floyd. Okay. It's up kind of in the north central part of the state. And a little cool up there right now. Hopefully it'll warm up next week when I head back that way. Because you're heading back over there next week. Yeah, I'll yeah. be leaving Saturday. Gotcha. Providing this storm moves out. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, and uh, so you, uh, so you're staying down. You, I guess you're considered a snowbird. You're staying yeah. down in the Phoenix in area, May, Mesa. In Mesa. Yeah. We're, yeah, we've been down in that same motel for about five years now. Okay. And what yeah. what dates do you you have a specific dates that you come out and then go well, back? Oh, usually we come right after Christmas, a couple of days, and then okay, go back anywhere from. First of March or first of February, into March. Gotcha, gotcha. Got to go home and get the income tax and mm -hmm. other stuff. <laughs> yeah. Now you're from Iowa. Everybody that I've met from Iowa generally has something to do with farming. But yeah. uh, are do you or were you kind of in that uh, in that industry? Oh, no, not really. I spent 20 years in the Air Force. Uh -huh. Then I retired in 73. I worked in a Chevrolet Olds Cadillac garage for about three years. After two years, I had a heart attack. Uh -huh. And the doctors up in Rochester said, well, they thought it was the way I was working in there and in the standing on my head a lot of the times, working under the dash. Oh, oh yeah. Ah, doing the so, electronics yeah. underneath the dash and ah, yeah, that's interesting. That's, yeah. Never heard of that. <laughs> so that was like your specialty. What what you? Yeah, uh -huh. I've done a lot of that in the service. And oh, they okay. Was looking for somebody. And, and so because you were on your head a lot, it, it messed with your circulation in yeah, your heart. Yeah, circulation, and then wow. The Oh, the carbon monoxide or anything in there. Okay, yeah. Kind of a combination, I guess. Huh. But, and that was yeah. back, so that was still a while back. Yeah. And then I worked on a county vehicle one day, and the defrosters wasn't working. So I had to drop the heater pan and all, and it was all plugged up and just wouldn't let the mode door. Okay. Go for him. So, and the guy was talking to me. He says, "Well, I'm retiring." He says, "Do you ever do any outside work?" I said, "Well, before I moved here, I worked with the DNR down in Wisconsin." DNR. What? Yeah. What is that? Department of Natural Resources. Okay. And so, one thing kind of led to another, and he says, "You ought to come up and." apply for my job that's outdoors yeah yeah so I did and I met with the board and ended up with a job huh that's where I got involved with making signs in that and oh really so I never never had done that making signs like that but more mainly they were two by eights with the name of the sign in Floyd County Conservation Okay. Yeah, no, no. So they were for parks or yeah. uh, that Park kind of thing? Park hunting areas and anything that we had. So. And then, so I'm curious because, you know, I've seen those, obviously, everybody has been in national parks and state parks and seen those kind of yeah. signs. Mostly all inset letters, I believe. Right. And were they, was it done like on a Miles Craft deal where it was, you were following templates or was it no, all freehand? It was all freehand. Really? Okay. Yeah, I made a lot of the lettering and that on the computer. Okay. And then the eight and a half, eleven sheet, uh, just 
scotch taped them together. And yeah. Got them lined up. Put carbon paper underneath. Yeah. That's what we're doing. So, I got a, so, I got a video showing that. Yeah. What uh, What years was that that you were doing that? Oh, that started in 1976. That's a while in back. Wow. Wow. But then I had a heart attack and another stroke, and so I couldn't do much. I got playing back with it and making little signs, and it's getting any more. I can't lift the boards hardly. Yeah, so the I big boards, yeah. Downsize <laughs> what I'm doing, and gotcha. I like doing it. It's so you're you know. so you after you left your job there after you retired from that. Was there a big span of time where you weren't weren't doing it at all? No, you've been no. pretty much doing it. Yeah, ever much. since all, you know playing yeah. around with it. Interesting, I like them. fascinating. Good. So, and then you kind of came across our YouTube channel, and yeah, I did just by accident. And been watching it ever since. Huh. So yeah, and I imagine you yeah. watched a few videos with my dad on oh, there. Oh yeah. yeah, I emailed him a couple times. Did you? Yeah. That's why I was wanting to get up and see him. Yeah. He always said something about the old man. He was the old man. Yeah. He said one time how old he was. I told him he had a couple years to go on me yet. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm yeah. sorry you missed him. I'm yeah. sure. He, I'm sure. I'm sure he would have enjoyed well, sitting down with you and, and shooting. Yeah. Yeah. He was an interesting man to talk to. And, yeah, you said you talked to him on the phone a time or two? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he, um, you guys would have had a lot in common, I'm sure, a lot of, uh, <laughs> a lot to talk about. Yeah, then I, I've ordered some stuff too. And mm -hmm. I just got some three inch letters and that here. Oh, it must have been about a month or six weeks. Yeah. That's a little bit easier layout than the old days yeah. with, uh, paper and carbon paper. Uh -huh. Yeah. 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 Oh, I got a couple three ring notebooks that I go through and find my old ones and still do some. So you kept stuff. you kept all that artwork in yeah. a in a notebook. Smart. That's good. Yeah. The only thing it's not categorized so I don't always find it very quick. <laughs> yeah. Well uh, Yeah. Then in my little shop I wonder now what drawer did I put them in? <laughs> So, is there any questions, anything that you can think of that that you know that uh, you have in your mind that you know that we can help with? No, I just kind of wanted to see. You know, you see this background all the time, but yeah. And then you talk about working outdoors. And yeah, we'll go out to the patio. That's right out here where we we have the benches, and because yeah. I try not to create too much sawdust in here anymore, <laughs> if I can help it, it uh, yeah, it stacks up and. That's a problem. Yeah, you know my my dust collection is a dust pan and a broom, pretty much. Well, yeah, I got a little electric leaf blower. Yep. And I got a double door on the end of mine. Yeah. I open it up, blow it out. Blow it all out. Yeah. That so works. do you do you live in a rural area then? Yes. I mean, the little town. You live outside of town then? Yeah. Population is about three fifty and. Mm -hmm. I'm out about two miles out of time. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah. So. I know um, Dad used to, and he probably told you this on the phone, Dad used to go uh, with his lady at the time out to a, um, a big event called Old Threshers uh, out that way. I think that was in Iowa. I'm not for yeah. sure. but We've got one on Seven Mile Corner, they call it, which would be about five miles from my place. Really? Yeah. And it's the second weekend in September every year, I think. And it's all old farm equipment yeah. and uh, old farm, yeah, and yeah, all that stuff. Yeah. Huh. That might have been the one. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if there's more there's than one. There's quite a few around there. Is there? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. he used to lo love to go yeah. out to that thing every year. There's a great big one down in... Uh, Mount Pleasant, Iowa. I, you know what, yeah. Mount Pleasant. I think that's the one. Yeah. yeah. I now I remember. Right? He used to mention it, but I think that's the one that he used to go to because yeah. it's it's really yeah. big. Yeah. They have vaudeville acts and all different kinds yeah, of things. Everything. Yeah. Yeah. And 
today you almost have to have reservations quite a ways around for a motel or really anything. Cause yeah, people come in by semi loads of old tractors. And yeah, yeah, and he said people come from all over the world. Oh yeah, to that thing. Yeah, yeah, that's the yeah, one. That's yeah. So you're heading back to Iowa tomorrow. Sar or, uh, Saturday, 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 Saturday morning. Yeah. yeah, yeah. If that snow and ice storm don't drop too much, so there's a way. there's a storm back in uh, between here well, and there. A little ways across in Kansas. Okay, is kind of the tail of it, and I think the rest of it's going to be into Texas and then over to the East Coast and up. Yeah, and boy, they've had floods all summer. And yeah. Now this year it's been cold and snowy. Yeah. Yeah. But I left right after Christmas. It turned cold. And every time I call my daughter, or they call me. It's 25, 30 below wind chill. And the temperature will be down there zero and below just normal temperature. And you and you spent most of your time during your career uh, outside. Mm -hmm. And did you have to deal with that like oh, yeah. all the time? Jeez. Yeah. You're tougher than I am. <laughs> Way tougher well, than I am. When I retired out of the Air Force, a lot of them, well, how come you're coming back to Iowa? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I said, well, I've lived in Texas and the Carolinas and Nebraska all over. I said, I still like Iowa and I like the Four Seasons. Yeah. Yeah. But, it's beautiful. I've driven through there one time, uh, and it was uh, spring or summer, but it was beautiful. It was just, seemed like there was farmland everywhere. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's what a lot of the motorcyclists say. Well, all it is is cornfields. You get so tired of looking at corn, corn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think that one of Dad's friends back there used to grow a lot of, uh, grew corn, but a, a lot of uh, soybeans. Soybeans. Soybeans are huge back there, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they kind of alternate. One year will be corn, and then the next year on that same ground, they'll put in soybeans. On that same ground? Yeah. And just alternate them? Yeah. Huh. And is that because what it does to the soil, or? Well, that's there's a gotta lot be, of it. There's yeah. got to be, you know, a yeah. reason for that. Yeah. That's a lot of it. Huh. Mm -hmm. Fascinating. I've always just been fascinated by that whole uh, that whole yeah. kind of ecosystem of learning all that. Yeah, and it's changing a lot as time goes. Yeah. So how old are you, if you don't mind me I'm asking? I'm 85. 85, yeah. Be 86 huh. this spring. Yeah. Look like you're doing okay. Well, pretty good. Yeah. I had a stroke and that affected my legs. Uh, the worst part is... I can't get it up over the motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> if I could do that again, uh, yeah. I rode from there down to Phoenix. I don't remember what year it was, but we got up to Globe, Arizona. I know where that is. And it was cold. Yeah. In end of August, and we had to be in Phoenix at noon for. A deal down there we were riding with American Legion riders okay and they have a program that uh, since 9-11 if one of the parents has been killed on active duty then they, we make money for scholarships for fundraising yeah, thing yeah huh? yeah yeah boy when we left Globe that morning we had all the clothes we could get on our rain jackets and everything because it was cold we got up about 10 miles outside of Phoenix, started down this hill, and you could just watch the temperature keep coming up. Yeah. There was about 150 of bikes. <laughs> so we couldn't pull over and take clothes off. We got down into Phoenix, 109. <laughs> <laughs> and you're all bundled oh, up. <laughs> gloves on and everything. So, but the police got to us down there and escorted us in to where we were supposed to be. And that helped because right on through the stop signs and it yeah. didn't yeah. take too long then. But yeah. Then started on dressing and sweating. And somebody finally 
came out with a bunch of water for us. And man, you know, didn't know water could taste so good. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. Well, we sure appreciate you coming by, Wayne. Well, um, and again, you appreciate know, appreciate you taking time. To no, it's see me, but. it's uh, it's been a pleasure having you here. And uh, yeah. again, you, you're always welcome. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. Maybe next year. Maybe yeah. I don't. Know. Yeah. It breaks up the winter when you get down like this. Yeah. Get out and travel was, around a little bit. It was right up there in the low 80s the other day, and it was almost too hot. Yeah, yeah. And, it, and you know, a few yeah. days ago, it got into the 60s here, I think. Yeah. And yeah. this morning, uh, it was in the 30s, in the low 30s. Yeah, with the wind blowing. But anyway, that's the, yeah. that's, that's the way it runs around here. Yeah. yeah. Well, my friend... Yeah. Sir, it's just oh. uh, an honor. Thank you for your well, for your service. Thank you yeah. for uh, for everything you've done. Thank mm -hmm. you for all the support over the years, and uh, we we just are happy you made it up here to to yeah, visit with us. Didn't have any problem. I had problem with my GPS sometimes, but it this time it brought you right, right here. here. Good, excellent, good yeah. deal. All right, you guys, okay. we're done. So, uh, again, thank you to Wayne for coming by. If you guys get in and around our area, uh, let us know. We're happy to, to have you come by and take a look at the operation. We're going to give Wayne a little bit of a tour here, and uh, we will see you guys on the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, guys.